Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're solving linear systems using the elimination method, but we're gonna look at a scenario where we have in both of our equations, uh, one matching coefficient. Um, so I would call this our basic version. If you're looking for a more advanced version of solving linear systems using elimination, I would go and look at one of my other videos and you'll find um, uh, some more advanced problems there. So to start, we have two equations in standard form. Sometimes in standard form, that constant is on the other side of the equal sign, and then you have a zero here. That's the same, um, same method can be used. So here, when we want to use the elimination method, we need to write the two equations um, in columns with like terms. So you see how I have the x terms here, the y terms here, and the constants all underneath of each other. That's really important because we're going to add or subtract the equations. And when we do that, we know we can only do that with like terms. So they need to be in the proper columns here. So we need to first identify which variable we want to eliminate. So you look for the two the same variables that have the same coefficient in this case. So here I have a 2x and a 2x. So the coefficients are both 2. So this column is the column that we want to try to eliminate. In other words, we want to make that equal to 0. In order for these two terms to equal 0, I have to subtract them. So we're going to subtract these two equations in order to eliminate the x terms. Now, if one coefficient was positive and one was negative, then you would have to add them together in order to eliminate. So sometimes that happens also. So let's go ahead and subtract the two equations. 2x minus 2x is zero. So those, that term has been um, eliminated and that's exactly what we want to happen. So that's a zero there. Let's go to the next column. Negative 6y minus 3y. So negative six minus negative three, sorry, m minus positive three. I'm gonna say that again. Negative six y minus positive three y. And that is negative nine y. Bring down that equal sign, line it up. And then 10 minus one, and that is nine. So what we've done here is created a simple equation that now we can solve for that y term. So to solve for y here, we have to divide both sides by the negative 9. And we're left with y equals negative 1. That's the y coordinate for our point of intersection. So we know that when we're solving linear systems, the point of intersection is a point, meaning we need an x coordinate and a y coordinate. We have the y, we need to get the x. So to get the x, we're gonna go back and look at our original two equations. We had this equation and this equation. We can sub that y into either of these two equations and solve for the remaining x. It doesn't matter which equation you choose because they should both uh, be the same point at that solution, at that point of intersection. So in this case, I would always suggest you choose the easiest looking equation to you, uh, whatever that means to you. For me, I think that equation number two looks the easiest, so I'm going to choose to sub it into that one. So here, we're going to sub y equals negative one into equation number two. And when we do that, it looks like this. Let's take our equation number two, two x plus three y equals one. We'll sub in the negative one in for the y, like this, which gives us two x minus three equals one. Now let's solve this equation for the x. So move this over to the other side. Since it's a minus three, we'll do a plus three to move it over. And that leaves us with two x equals four. And then our last step to solve for x here, divide on both sides by two. And when we do that, we're left with 
x equals positive 2. So there's the x coordinate. So all together, our point of intersection is x, which was 2, comma, y, which was negative 1. So the solution to a linear system is always the point where the two lines cross. The point of intersection for this linear system is 2, negative 1. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.